Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy and today we are continuing our 2022 external exam series from Queensland, Australia by looking at paper one's question on the Hungarian algorithm. This happens to be my favorite topic out of unit four. Call me crazy. Hope you enjoy this video. So firstly, question seven. It's a multiple choice question. This matrix was obtained after applying the Hungarian algorithm to determine the optimal allocation of three people, Alandra, Farid, and Grace, to three different tasks, legal, monitoring, and verification. We need to work out the optimal allocation. So in other words, we've already worked out the Hungarian algorithm. This is what we've come up with. We need to know how to read this to work out who should be doing what. So firstly, here is um, Farid. We can look at Farid and wherever there's a zero, that tells us what Farid should be doing. Now, the reason why I've started with Farid is that Alandra and Grace have two zeros in their row. So that makes it a difficult decision. So let's just eliminate Farid first. There's only one task that he should be doing and that's legal. So E, F will go to L. So because F is going to M in option A and F is going to V in option D, we've eliminated those straight away. Um, so F goes to L. Now you'll notice in options B and C, it's the same for both. So now we need to take that a step further. Let's have a look now at the next person, Alandra. Now we've already eliminated legal. Um, Alandra can't do legal. The only other zero that she's got is monitoring. So E must go to M. Now if we have a look, option C is the only one that that's going to work for. So therefore, we found the optimal allocation. We don't even need to go into what Grace is doing. We know that only leaves her with verification. That was our first question on the paper. Now we're into the short answer questions. This one's worth four marks. The table summarizes the distances in kilometers between three flower stores and three delivery locations, A, B, and C. We now have to use a Hungarian algorithm, so they've told us what method to use, to determine the minimum total distance needed to deliver flowers to all the locations if each store is only going to be delivering flowers to one location. So we've got to apply the Hungarian algorithm here. So firstly, we're going to start with row reduction. So what that means is I'm looking for the smallest number in each row. So starting with row one, the smallest number there is 17. I'm going to subtract 17 from each of those values in the matrix there. So I'm going to take 17 away. So what I'm left with is a new matrix with 19 take away 17 gives me 2, 17 take away 17 gives me 0, 24 take away 17 gives me 7. So I've reduced the first row. Now I need to move on to row 2, find the smallest number there which is 14. I'm going to take 14 away from each of those numbers. So 15 take away 14 gives me 1, 14 take 14 gives me 0 and 22 take 14 gives me 8. Moving on to the last row for row reduction, I need to find the smallest number, which is 16. So I'm taking 16 away from each of these values. 23 take away 16 gives me 7. 16 take away 16, 0. And 40 take away 16 gives me 24. So now I've completed row reduction. Now what I need to do is cover my zeros with the smallest number of covers. So I'm going to cover through column B, one cover, but I need the number of covers to match the number of allocations. And because I could do it in one, it means I'm not finished. Now I've got to do some column reduction. So I get my first mark for this question from the row reduction. I'm guessing I'm going to get another mark when I do the column reduction. So let's start by looking at each column. What's the smallest number in that first column A? Well, it's one. So I'm going to subtract one from each of those values. So I'm going to get a new matrix now of one, zero and six because I've taken one away from each. I don't need to do row reduction, sorry, column reduction on column B. Everything there is already zero. So let's move on to C. The smallest number in that column is seven. So I'm going to take seven away from everything in that column. So that's going to leave me seven take away seven makes zero, one, and then um, 17 there. And I've got my next mark for reducing those columns correctly. So now I've done my column reduction, let's do some covers. So I've got to cover my zeros again. So the smallest number of covers is actually going to be three, no matter which way I do them. I mean, you can't do them diagonally, but vertically, horizontally, no matter which way I go, I can make three covers, which means I've got the correct number of allocations. So now I've got a matrix that I can use to work out my optimal allocation for each store. Now, if I look here at store one, there's two choices. 
Store two has two choices as well. Let's move to store three first and allocate them first because they've only got one option and that's the zero here. So store three must go to store B. Um, now just bearing in mind, this is not a greater than, less than symbol. These are just arrows that I've used here. So now that I've worked out the allocation here, if I move up, um, that means that store one cannot take B, store two cannot take B because store three is doing it, which leaves store one with just C, store two with just A. So they're all my allocations that I've made. Um, so the question didn't ask me what the allocations were though, it's asking for the minimum total distance. So now what I need to do is go back to my original matrix, which is up here, and work out the distances of going from store three to store B, from store two to store A, and store one to store C. So this allocation here was worth my third mark, but now calculating those distances is gonna be worth my fourth mark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that 16 for store three to store B, take that 15 kilometers there, and then take the 24 kilometers there, and put those next to my allocations. Now I need to actually add those together to work out that minimum total distance for all the stores to do their deliveries. And that will be 55 kilometers for all three stores to deliver to where they need to go. And working out that minimum total distance was my fourth and final mark. Well, did you find our video helpful today? I sure hope so. If you did, why not engage with us further? You could like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you always know when the next video is coming. Why not follow us on Facebook and social media, um, Instagram as well for a bit of fun, or tell someone about this video. You could share it with somebody via email or any other way that you like to share things from YouTube. Um, you could also tell us in the comments how you found the video. And if you have any questions at all, I'm always available on mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. Well, thank you so much for watching today. I'm Natalie McClutchy. Have a wonderful day.